Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing uh, Parkour Reborn. Um, so, I just got this game yesterday, and I made an edit of it yesterday, but it was there wasn't that much gameplay, because, you know, it was an edit. Um, so, it was like 40 seconds long, but today, I'm going to be hoping for a longer video, because I'm going to be helping you guys out with something I've been seeing a lot of people struggle with, but not seeing a lot of tutorials on. Um, the grapple locations, um, if you guys know what the grappler is, it's like a grappling hook and it really helps with the game. This is it right here. It's cool. It screwed me up. <laughs> um, yeah, it took me forever to get. Pretty much all day yesterday. And that's because most of the tutorials there were, they were all really difficult, like the routes were really difficult. But uh, yeah, today I'm going to be showing you guys, my, you guys, ugh you guys my route that I use to get it because since I'm not super skilled at this game I had to use really easy routes so yeah if you're a newer player or you're not that good at the game um, then I'm gonna be showing you guys the routes I used for all the components for the grappler so okay let's start so and before we start um, something I've been seeing a lot of youtubers doing is they've been using the grappler while showing people how to get the grappler which how are you gonna do that that doesn't really that doesn't really work that well so um, I'm gonna go ahead and unequip the grappler so that I won't be using it to show you guys how to get it so we're gonna go ahead and start and uh, so what you're gonna want to do is when you start on this little grass patch area where you just get done with the tutorial you're going to want to come over here and you're going to want to come down here now immediately what you're going to want to do is jump over to this pipe right here and wall run to this one and climb up here so also I recommend not doing this at a low level like level one or something but that's not a lot coming from me um because you know I started at like level two so uh yeah just a recommendation but if you want to do that then that's all you so the first grappler what you're gonna to want to do is once you're at that grass patch you're gonna to want to jump over to this over to here scale up this building jump to this pipe right here get to this building and then the first component should be right down here right here I don't remember exactly where but it should be somewhere here now that's component one it should be around here, I don't remember exactly where, but it'll be here, in this little hut area. Alright, now for component two, it's not that far away, not that challenging to get. And it's on the way to the third one, so like, why not? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to long jump over to this building, climb up here, scale this pipe, get to this pipe at the wall run, Climb up this building, and once you're at the top of this building right here, which is the where we came from, was right down there. So you're going to want to come from there to here. What you're going to want to do once we're up here is you're going to want a long jump from this building to this building. Stick that landing, and then come over to this giant crane right here. Now, once you're at this crane, you're going to want to come down, and it, component two should be in this little hut right here. I don't know what even to call it. It's like a control module room or something <laughs> um but yeah it's gonna be right in here right in that corner all right that's component two all right so for component three component three is probably one of the ones that took me the longest nowhere near the hardest though it shouldn't be too difficult what you're gonna want to do is once you're on top of this building which is right where the crane was you're gonna jump to here and then wall run on this wall to diminish your fall damage land there stick that landing Climb up to this building, hop this fence, wall run here, and stick that landing. If you don't, it's okay. Um, if you take some fall damage, you'll just regenerate it back. It'll be okay. So then you're going to jump to this building right here, once you circle around to there. And this is kind of the tricky part. you got to um, grapple onto the zip line. I shouldn't have said grapple. Out. We're not using the grappler. Um, hop on that zip line is what I meant. And then you can just scale up that pipe and jump to that one if you want. But since I'm mainly aiming towards inexperienced players with this, um, what you're going to want to do is jump up to here, climb up to this building right here. 
Then you're going to want to climb up this wall. I'm just showing the routes that I use to do this. Jump to here. This pipe, which is right across from where you need to be. You're going to make the jump over to here using the jet dash. And then now you should be on top of this giant building with the sink. Or with the checkpoint, whatever you want to call it. Now, what you're going to do from here, you're going to climb down this pipe. Oh, I fell. I'm not great at sticking the landings. Climb up to here. Then you're going to want to jump to this wall. Scale it. It's easy. Now, what you can do, which I'll probably do later when we come back here, is you can just dash jump from here to there using in the miniature sure fall damage using the um roll yeah or the wall run but for now since whoever is watching this is if you guys are watching this and you're inexperienced you probably are a low level i'm just gonna do it this way um what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to jump from there wall run to down there land there jump here wall run and then you'll uh end up right here now, what you're going to want to do is jump to this building, climb up it. We're going to have to come back here later, by the way. Scale this pipe, and this is kind of a tricky part. you got to land here on the billboard. And what, what our goal is, is to get behind and circle around the Apollo building. So what we're going to do is we're gonna, just going to jump, land in this little middle sector right here. Uh, climb up. And then you should be on this pipe if you wall run. Then you're going to wall run down to here. You should land at the um, sink location. Then you're going to want to climb up here. Make your way over here. Like I said, we're going to come back here later. So this should look familiar later. And jump to here. That last jump right there is a little bit tricky, but you should be okay. Then you're going to run over to this pipe, grab onto it, climb up, and now you should be on the actual Apollo building. Now, uh, you got to scale up these pipes. It's not too difficult, just follow my movements. Sorry if I'm going a little bit of, a little bit fast, but I'm trying to make this video as short as po possible, but it's probably still going to be long. Um, just climb up here. Careful not to die. <laughs> That's your. That should be your main goal. Not speed. Just don't die. Now you should be on the right side of the Apollo building. Then you're gonna wall run here, climb up this, into this pipe, and now you're gonna jump down to here. And up there is where it is. It's by those two trees. So what you're, this part's a little bit difficult. Not this part. You're just gonna jump to here. And this pipe right here, you're going to climb up it. Now, you have to scale this building, and this is not easy at all. Hopefully, I can even do it. You're going to wall run there. Here, I'm going to restart because I messed it up. You're going to wall run here. Scale up. And it might take a couple of tries for you to actually make it up. But you should make it eventually. Finally, I made it. So there should be a sink up here, or a, a checkpoint, whatever you want. But the, the um, next component should be right here in this little um, dirt patch where the tree is. Next to these two trees. It should be right here. Alright, that's component three. Now, component three isn't too bad. It's not too far away, but it is a little bit tricky at some parts. So you, you're going to want to jump from that building down to this one. I recommend wall running so that you don't take as much fall damage. And you're going to want to get over to that little bridge right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to this building. Climb up here. I'm also doing it in third person so it's a little bit easier guy for you guys to follow at some parts. And then you should be down here. Now what you're going to want to do next is we're going to want to climb up this wall, wall run, and then make it to the top. You can also wall run and then jump to that building and climb up that ladder and jump to here. Makes it a little bit easier, but I just got lucky that time. Next, you're going to want to scale up these pipes.
and you're gonna want to basically make it up to that little pipe up there. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. Alright, so you should make it after some time, and you should be in this little gravel area where the solar panels are. Now, it should be right around here. I believe it's right here. It should just be in this little gravel area up here on top of this building, which is, for reference, across, like, directly across from the, uh, you know, that, the, the last component. So, uh, yeah. This is where it should be in this little area. I'm pretty sure it's right here, but if it's not, it's, like, over here, or over here, yeah. Anyways, that's component four. Alright, now component five. Component five is probably what took me the second longest. Not because it's too difficult, it's just difficult for someone who's a low level. Now, you have to jump down from there to here. And then you're going to have to wall run from up here to down there. So that you can, yeah. So I'm going to attempt it right now. Alright, I made it. Now, what your goal is, is to make it from here to there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this little side area and make a dash jump, hopefully make it, yep, and um, yeah, now you should be at this area right here, so you're just going to come down from here, and you're just going to want to jump down, maybe wall run, and yeah, now you should be at this building with the little like purplish, looks purple to me, purplish tiles right here. Now what you're going to want to do, wall run here, make it onto these very purple uh, tiles, climb up this one, it basically looks like the same thing. Then you're going to wall want to wall run on this corner, make it down to here, that was risky. And then now you should be at this little like area that goes in between these two buildings. And you should be able to just scale it up, it shouldn't be too hard. Now what you're going to want to do is climb up this building, climb up this one, it's pretty easy. Then you're going to want to uh, dash jump from there to here, and you should be over here now. And jump to this building right here with the pipes that go up. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump to this pipe, don't like, don't do this, here, I'll show, I guess, don't do this, because then um it won't give you as much distance when you try to do it in wall run so what you're gonna want to do is just jump to here wall run then climb and then make it there and then now you should be at this little grate you just climb up and now you're up here now this is the tricky part or past the easy part this is the tricky part you're gonna want to run over here and dash jump all the way to this building right here and you should make it if you don't, just keep trying. Then you're going to want to jump from here to this building. As you can see, I just failed because it's very difficult. Well, I made it to here. If you make it to here, it's okay. Because you can just climb up here. But usually what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to land here on this area. If you land there, it's fine. Um, you're supposed to land here. And you're supposed to come down to here. Go down here. Stick that landing. I didn't there, but stick that landing. And you're going to come up this red ladder. And then just climb up to this building right here. Now, what Spoob did in his video, if you don't know who Spoob, Spoob is, he made the original tutorial. And he's pretty much a pro, um, so he's really good. He just jumps from here to there. But that's not how I did it, because I find that to be very difficult. I just jumped here while I ran here and landed on this little beam in between the two buildings and I jumped down to here stuck that landing and then now you should be uh, below where you need to be now to get up there you're gonna have to wall you're gonna have to wall run um, over to here climb up here oh I almost fell off there then you're gonna climb up this pipe utilize these pipes they're really good and I just fell and died. Right, I 
finally made it up here. Now, what Spoob did in his video is he just ran up here, did some weird trick where he climbs up that wall and gets up to the lights. But if you're an inexperienced player like me and you have a skill issue, you can't do that. So I'm going to show you an easier way. So what you're going to want to do is run over to this wall. And it's a little bit tricky, but basically what you're going to want to do is wall run to here, make it to this little side area over here, go around back, find these pipes back here. Then you're going to want to wall run, climb up here. And now you should be at the top where it says PRK Tech. Now, you're basically just going to want to run in here, come down here, and the grapple component should be right on this light. It's not there for me because I already have it. So yeah, that's grapple com component. Ugh, grapple component five. Now, grapple component six is the easiest in my opinion because it's right here. Once you get from that light, you come back up here, and then you walk up these stairs, and then it should be. I'm pretty sure in one of the. It's in one of these cubicles. I'm pretty sure it's in this one. I don't know though. I don't remember. And so one of these cubicles, though, just look around for a second, shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, that's component six. That's all it is. Now, component seven is the hardest. So if you die a ton of times, don't be mad. Join the club. Now, for component seven, since it's all the way back at the Apollo building, and we're pretty far from the Apollo building at this point, I'm just going to jump off right here and die so that it puts me back where I need to be. Uh, my game glitched so I had to rejoin a different server. But you should be back here if, once you fall and die. So what you're going to want to do is make your way back to the Apollo building we were at earlier. So to do that, you just want to jump on the zip line, make your way, wall run, make your way here, wall run again, jump up to here, and you should be at this grass patch area. Now, you're going to want to jump down to here, wall run, and you should be where all these solar panels are. So you're gonna, just going to come over here, grab onto this pipe, climb over these solar panels, Sorry I'm being kind of quiet, it's just getting boring narrating. Just come over here, climb on top of this pipe, come on top of this pipe, and then make it over to this pipe. Now this should look familiar because the Apollo building is right there. So now to get the, to the Apollo building, well we're not actually going to the Apollo building, we're going to the left side, which we were on the right side earlier. To get to the Apollo building, you're just going to want to climb. It's basically the same route as the last time. You just climb up here. And like I said earlier, if you're experienced this enough at this point where you want to just do this, you can. But if you want to just use the old route where you just climbed there and there, then you can do that too. Now just climb up to this building. Like I said, we already went through all of this earlier. We're gonna climb up here, and then the tricky part, the billboard. And then now you should be back at the little middle section. You're gonna wall run here, climb up to this pipe, wall run again, and then you should checkpoint here. Now what you're gonna wanna do is climb down to here, jump to this building, scale up it like before it's basically the same route as earlier with a slight change and instead of jumping from here to there we're gonna go up this wall right here and this wall's a little bit tall so it might take a second but after a minute you should get it and then this is probably the hardest jump in the game because it's so far and your chances of death are pretty high what you're gonna want to do is you're I'm probably gonna die here you're gonna want to dash jump wall run, jump off the wall, and then land on that. As you can see, I died because it's really not that easy. It's really difficult. Alright, so I just made it. 
and you should see the little Derwick pop up. I think that's how you say it. You're gonna climb up here, make it up to this little ledge right here. That jump is, or that little ledge climb right there isn't too difficult, but if it takes you a couple tries, it's okay. And you're gonna wanna climb up these uh, slopes, and then you should see this little gap right here. You're just gonna climb through it. Now you're just gonna want a wall run here. Then you're gonna want a wall climb and then wall run. And then you should be at this building across from this. You should be in this general area. If if your area looks like this, you're in the right place. So what I've seen a lot of people do is I've seen a lot of people, or I saw in Spoob's video, he does this witchcraft where he jumps from there up to the second building, which is pretty difficult for, you know, unexperienced players like myself. And I've seen a lot of people kind of wall run here, make it up to here, and I don't see that to be very easy. So I'm going to show you my technique for it. So what I did is I ran here, I did dash jump, wall ran to wall run to uh, diminish fall damage, and then you should be at the lower level down here, and you're going to want to do another dash jump over to here, and then you're just going to wall run over here, climb up here, wall run again, wall climb in the middle, wall run again, and you should be at the blue sign, if you're at the red sign that's even better, climb up to the red sign, now for this next part you're going to need some momentum, so, you're going to climb up to here, and you're going to climb over here, climb up this ladder, and then for this next part you're going to need a lot of momentum, so I'm just going to kind of go back and forth on these pipes to build momentum. And once you feel like you have enough, you're going to run over here and make the massive jump over here. As you can see, I didn't make it because it's a massive jump. Alright. Alright, I finally made it. Then you're just going to want to dash jump again over to here. Scale this wall. Now you should be up here where the slope is. So once you make it up to the slope, you're just going to want to climb up this wall. And now you should be up here. Now, what you're going to want to do is jump over here, and you should see a sign that says Derwick Construction. It's okay if you fall, like I just did. And since I just fell, um, I took some damage, so I'm just going to run back and forth until I get my health back. And so I can build some momentum. Alrighty, and here we go. What you're going to want to do is just dash jump, wall run. Um, if you fall there, it's okay, or you can just jump through there. Make your way through there, wall run down to here. You should be okay, either way. And now you'll make it over here, and there should be the last grapple component right on this wooden pallet right here. So, you just pick it up, and then once you have all the pieces, which you should after this video, you go over to your inventory, you click on crafting, and then all the components should be right here. You just put the, the main grapple thing in the middle, and then put all the pieces that you collected in the different slots, and then you should have it. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, in my opinion. Now, if you want, you can just go to tutorial, and you can just... Oh, hold on. You can use the grappler to your heart's content. Um, I'm aware there's like a swing grappler. I'm not too sure how to do the swing grapp. I'm not too sure how to get the spring or the swing grappler yet. Um, if anyone knows, please fill me in. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard to get up a springboard. There we go. It should be a little bit easier now with your uh, grappler. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, these were all my routes that I used. They uh, turned out pretty successful for me. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I would not recommend doing this at a low level. Um, but, I mean, I'm not really one to talk. Because I did this at level, like, what? Two? Or I started at level two. And, uh, yeah.
I finished at like level 21. <laughs> but yeah. Um, that's basically all I have to say. Uh, I hope my, you know, routes helped you guys out. They helped me, and I wish I had them. I wish I had them all ready to go when I was still trying to gra get the grappler, grappler myself. But now you have the grappler, um, and it should be pretty nice. And uh, yeah, like I said, if there's more, um, if there are more updates um, to this game in the future that you guys want me to cover, I mean, I'd be happy to do so because I love this game. This game's awesome. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's the grappler. It's pretty nice. So yeah, that's it. I hope my routes helped you guys out. And uh, that's all I have to say. Alright, this is Billy signing off. Bye!